Hello there, I'm, in, I'm in his uh, translator. I just want to say that he said, Welcome to uh, Monday Throats. That episode had let me traumatized. And it's just, you know, it's just saying, Why? Why this episode traumatized me? I will explain it to you. But, I gave you a warning. There will be full spoilers ahead. So, if you haven't seen the episode, you might want to stop listening right now. But, but if you uh, want to get to go ahead and find out how they die, it's your chance now. There we go. Hey guys, and welcome to the full on review of Monday of Game of Thrones with, of course, the bell. And I'm really sorry for the intro and the closing if I really sound traumatized, but I will have my. I will have my traumatizing translator. I'm gonna have my traumatic uh, translator for this. But, although there is a letter that reveals Jon Snow's true identity, was of course Varys. But although there was a little girl that's that the Daenerys won't eat. But then Terry sees uh, Jon Snow, who is late to the party, Verse has a talk with Jon Snow. And Verse gave him an advice. But, but then Jon Clive said, she's still her queen. Sorry, she's still his queen. Although, but although the fairest half, of course, well, I had to wait. But Terry checks on the, on his grace. She said that someone has betrayed her. And when she met by someone. She actually met John Snow. But Terry just says Ferris. And he admits it's that uh 
that speaking with Sansa was a mistake, but he'll remain loyal to Daenerys. There was a translation for the Mad Queen. Well, transformation of the Mad Queen. So, excuse me. Okay. The Grey Worm came around. And he's been, if ever has been, arrested by him. He sees Terry and he... Just say his goodbye. And he's also executed. So, yep. Barris has had a character death. Burned by Dra- Drogo. Although... There are socks of Grey Worm. About Miss Sandry. Who, who was beheaded for, on last week's episode that leave me in dissatisfaction. And although... Birds... Uh, the bird... He burns the collar and John arrives. And he leaves. Although, does he will always, she will always be his queen. And then the two kids say, and then she stopped. And she said, Here it is. And then Tyrion talks to Daenerys. Tell them that mercy is their strength. And it means to germ. But she said, If. Jamie is love us seriously. If if he uh, fails, if he fails, then this will be the last time he fails her. And then we go to the, the war camp with Terry and John met with da- Davos. There was private that there's what's it now. And I camp. What's that yours? Hold town in Aria. Or is it he will, will kill Cersei? Ooh, this should be interesting. And Tyrion won. Let's see a prisoner. And the prisoner is, of course, Jamie Lannister. Seriously called the stupidest Lannister ever. No, he's not. He's a king slayer. You're the stupidest Lannister, you cunt. Although... Harry just locked him and Jamie wants to die. But he suggests where he fights with their life. Jamie has swears to him, but but the of course the plan of course was Bell. What's the bell? Ding ding ding. Well, and then and open the gates. 
And then he told Jamie if he hadn't been found by, uh, if he had a Valteria, then he would not survive his childhood. And the two had hugged it out, and they both cried. And at King's Lady, ships are steady, and we're in Greyjoy. Prepares the crossbow harpoons. Archers preparing fast. And this should be interesting. Women and children hiding. All hound and Arya. Are in disguise blending in. Blending in. The JB also now in disguise and blending in. Although he kind of looks like... The actor kind of looks like he is trying to audition for, for the next Assassin's Creed video game. An army... Are prepared. Jonateria Davos prepares... The terrorist suggests him to call it off. But he just walked away. And Cersei the Cunt is watching. Clearly. Let's see what happens. Arya and Helen had made it to the pit gates. But Jamie was too late. But he is escaping death to go to the bells. And Aaron watches the sky to see Dragon. The forces have fired, but they missed. And Daenerys has got the dragon to destroy the ship. The survived dragon. And And there shot another miss. And Castle have attacked with this and they get burnt. Well, at least in the Grey Worm studies, John. John studies also. And then an army is by birds and then the horse died. Well, no need for euthanization now. No need to put down that horse because it's already dead. But the dragons burn. And the one soldier that survived is fleeing. And he really... And he really was fleeing? Or not? <laughs> yes, he was killed by Grey Worm. And then Cersei witnesses the burning. And Terry had seized. The army that were burnt to death. And Kybird suggests her bad news. But... She don't care. Are you daft, woman? Are you daft? The Grimworth forces seize the Lannister army and... Oh, no way. The Tyrion sees that we walk to Bill. Warm and 
The army surrendered. Drops their weapons. Everybody says ring the bells. But still. None whatsoever. Here you see. And Daenerys is beginning to lose her patience. And of course. The bell rings. Ah, in the words of Thanos, this put a smile on my face. Because Cersei is finally defeated, and Daenerys is going to go to Cersei and ask for a surrender, and she's going to be executed. That's what I've been waiting for, of course. And this is where everything is going to go to. She's going towards the citizens and Oh my god Oh my god no 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 Oh my god no Everybody's getting burned alive And he killed my dragon And even And even Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers Was burnt to death in well, in Game of Thrones, that is. I mean, thankfully, not in real life. Just, just dim shame to see him get burnt to the crisp. If you're a Green Bay Packers fan, I feel sorry for you. I really do feel sorry for the Green Bay Packers fans have to witness their favorite quarterback burnt to the crisp by a dragon. I know. I wish it would have been Tom Brady, though. The GOAT. Yeah, I wish it was Tom Brady who got burned to the crisp. Or anyone from fucking Chicago. The yes, we got a death montage of slain and slain and slain. And Cersei just watches everybody burn, but she's not happy about it. And yes, and there's villagers slaying. Where John witnesses the horrendous by Daenerys forces and the Karate allies. And they are beginning to attack. And now she's going to go for Cersei. Um, I'm not so sure how she's going to do that. And there's Cersei and Greyjoy has confronted Jamie. And although... But although her dragon is tearing the castle apart of every of its foundation... But then turn into a fist fight. And Aaron Greyjoy has stabbed Jamie Lannister. Oh my, he's dead. Although Kyburn it begs him to leave. And Cersei is crying and she decided it is time to flee. Hmm. You know what? I had for, for the first time for the first time I, I kind of feel sorry for her, you know? I kind of feel sorry for Cersei, you know? Gotta leave. But I'm not trying to pull Wayne's World or anything, but you know, I I really do feel sorry for her. And she, and Aaron Greyjoy, had been stabbed in the chest. Well, just one time, and that is the death. But although Jamie Lancer is bleeding, it's still alive. And he's just gonna go find Cersei. But then, how suggests Arya to leave? 
But but if he come, but she comes with him, he dies. Wait, what? And then she calls him Sander, Sander the Hound. And she also thanks him for that. And what is she gonna do now? And then the mountain, Gregor the Mountain, comes to protect Cersei, a quiver. And the brothers had confronted each other at long last. And then the mountain had bashed his head in. He bashed Quibird's head in and Quibird is dead. Cersei just left alone. Oh shit. I mean, I mean, does she really have to leave in the, um, in the Fallen Foundation? I mean, that's, that's a bad idea, you know? Just to, I mean, with the fucking towers just falling. It's Center the Hound versus Gregor the Mounted. And seriously, just looking at the Fallen Foundation, and she was feeling remorseful. That Jamie has come to her, they both embraced in each other's arms and have a reunion. But then they fled together. But and then the mountain didn't die from his first stab. But although Arya just escaped. Landing with the aftermath bot, although she was trampled, while well, the hound gets beaten up. And yes, a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and of course, Arya was saved by Nora. And then the mountain falls on him. And a mountain that finally falls when he got stabbed throughout the eyes while the hound almost got his eyes gouged out by his pulse. Yeah, like I say, when he almost got his eyes gouged out by the mountain. Well, he lost one eye. But and then the hound used the spear Although he died with him. Well, she set off and Daenerys is still burning and burning and burning and burning. But then John orders to fall back into the wall. Arya survives King Landing. Have survived King's Landing to the ashes. But then the building has f- fallen. But late, she luckily escaped. And yeah, she see the surviving citizens. It's a... She, of course... Leads the citizens out. And Nora injured, and yes, she gets burned by a dragon. But also... In the crypt... Jamie and Cersei are trapped like rats. And then bro- both have embraced each other in arms and then both have died by fallen bricks. Well. Well, Jamie, well, I'm gonna miss you. You have to die. And... Although, I'm going to say Cersei, although it's a Cersei, I will, I will say this, at least for, I'm going to, I've been saying this for a while, but even though, I know I'm feeling, re- filled with remorse right now, but I'm going to go ahead and say it, ding dong, the bitch is finally dead, and she should burn in hell, but, 
but not in the way I want it. But, but I'm saying, but not in the way I want it. I wanted her to get stabbed by Arya Stark, but this is all we got. It was falling bricks. And we see that Nora and and her daughter were burnt to death. Although when Arya Stark had just witnessed that the bleeding and they covered in ashes and a horse the one horse that survived and she approaches to it and she rode on it in life. This episode was really, really brutal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and be honest about this. That episode start out with a or out with with a really satisfying manner. But now But now it really ended in a brutal, 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 brutal way. And it's in the nearest what have you done? I mean I mean I mean they surrendered, the bells rang, I mean it's over. You would have gone seriously and just asked her for her immediate surrender, but nope, you just went towards the citizens and you burned every one of them alive. And you caused the unsatisfaction and then the hound wouldn't let Arya be killed and wouldn't let her kill Cersei. They were banning off DB Wise. Why? Why D and D? Why? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say again. Why David Benioff D B Wise? Why? Well, I'm glad you're not gonna be. Re- I'm glad you're not writing the last episode because I hope somebody knew what would do this is done. But I but the next people to die, I'm not going to say who. But the last but the final episode is of course. But my response. What the hell spells is wrong with you? It's just... It's just this is wrong. That's just wrong. I'm having to say that's just wrong. This is not wrong. This is not a satisfaction I wanted. This is not the Cersei death I wanted. Of course, you know. But but I just want to find out what's going to happen next with Daenerys. If she's going to send her army to the north and kill everyone. And kill everyone. That's that's what I was... Um, that's, that's my guess. But other than that, just want to say, of course... You know, this just defi- this is a defiant. That is a defiant to the Nerys, turning her into a Mad Queen. But this is a defiant satisfaction where I was hoping Cersei would die in the hands of someone, but nope, she just dies with fallen bricks. With her brother and lover and breaks each other's arms. And no, that just happened. I'm gonna say once I can say it again, that's just stupid. Yeah, now I'm traumatized forever.
Hi, I'm uh, Miss Translator again. I just want to say uh, to translate for you. All right, folks, that's going to do about it for today's traumatizing episode that leave me traumatized episode of My Day's Rose. Yes, and that was really, really tragic. But I'm going to go to therapy tomorrow and, of course going to be healed for tomorrow's episode of Marvel Tuesday. Alright guys, that's going to be about it for me. I will see you guys next time, or tomorrow, and I will be fully, fully, fully recovered. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.